Hey, are you looking for an exciting idea on how you can call upon those freezing action shutter speeds of a 500th of a second or a thousandth of a second? Then this next idea just might be the one to prove why you need to spend more time freezing action. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson and I'm the author of Understanding Exposure and Brian Peterson's third edition of Learning to See Creatively. I'm here at Alki Point in Seattle, Washington on this beautiful late afternoon summer day and I got with me my friend Aya and we've got also the beautiful skyline of Seattle across Puget Sound. We've also got a beautiful smooth top wooden sanded picnic table perfect for a person who's about to be barefoot atop this table and doing ballet leaps. And we're going to freeze those leaps as Aya jumps in front of the city of Seattle. As far as the exposure is concerned, easy stuff. It's a front lit scene, beautiful sky. Notice those clouds. That's what we're going to have in the backdrop. And down near the bottom, the Seattle skyline. As far as the exposure is concerned, shutter priority in terms of my one biggest concern about this creative exposure. Therefore, by shutter priority, I mean that's my first choice. I'm at a thousandth of a second. I bring the exposure to a close by simply adjusting my aperture. In this case, for what I call the brother blue sky of that background. In this case, with 400 ISO, I find myself at f8 at a thousandth of a second. So, with that in mind, Aya, are you ready? I'm using my 24 to 120, and I'm cropping just literally at the skyline's edge where it meets the water. And subsequently, as Aya takes that leap, it's going to look as if she is leaping over the city. Aya, go ahead. One, two, three. Yes, take a look at that. And again, notice the thousandth of a second what it's done. It's frozen completely in crystal clear sharpness. Not only the hair, but also the shirt, as well as her feet and her hands. It's a marvelous idea. Now just because I have a few clients out there who are not fond of Seattle, I took another image, which I'll share with you right now, without the city skyline. Yes, I know it's hard to imagine. There are people who would prefer to see Aya jumping against nothing but blue sky without a city skyline. But I've also recorded a creatively correct exposure, in this case, at a one one thousandth of a second of the always joy-filled Leaping Aya. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting.